Hello, welcome to another video. Now this proof is going to be not really rigorous because we'll be using some of the laws that we already know. So we're going to be looking at the quotient rule which is how to take the derivative of a ratio of functions. So if you have f of x over g of x, how do you get the derivative of that? Remember, it is not the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. As you can see, it looks a little bit more complicated. So how do we go from just this to find y prime, that is dy dx, and then dy dx looks as complicated as this. Now, two things I want to talk about. The first thing is this function in itself must be such that g of x, the denominator, is not equal to zero. Because if we have a zero here, then this function is undefined and we can't even do anything with it. And as you can see, it shows up again in the denominator for the derivative. It means the derivative will be undefined again when the denominator is equal to zero. So g of x is not equal to zero is one of the conditions here. g of x is not equal to zero. That's number one. Number two, I'm not going to be using the definition of the derivative. I'm just going to be using the product rule and the chain rule. So, and another assumption we're going to make again is that we already know the product rule and we already know the chain rule. So I'm going to be using those two. Maybe I should write them down so we know that those are the two things I'll be using in this case. And it's a very simple proof. I keep saying proof because I'm not doing the rigorous proof. I'm using something we already know, which is sometimes how you prove something. Okay, so let's look at the product rule. The product rule says that the derivative of f times g, remember that, so this is the first ingredient we need, is going to be, um, we differentiate the first f prime g plus g prime f, um, and that's it. And then we know that if f is a function of g, then you take the derivative of this, so this is a product and this is a chain. If f is a function of g and g is a function of x, then we say that this is going to be f. If you take the derivative, it's going to be um, f. Uh, it's just going to be this, actually. It's going to be this f prime of g okay multiplied by g prime this is the definition of the chain rule so this is the chain rule it's going to be f prime of g times g prime and that's what we do generally so let's use these two to do this So the first thing we're going to do is try to rewrite this as a product so we can use the product rule. So you can always write a ratio as a product. See, I'm going to write this as f of x multiplied by 1 over g of x. Okay, makes life a lot easier. And the way you see it, we can actually write this again as equal to f of x multiplied by g of x raised to power negative one. So what we have now, we just apply the product rule and the chain rule along the way. So let's look at this, because this is a product, we're gonna apply the product rule, derivative of the first multiplied by the second plus derivative of the second multiplied by the first. So we're gonna have y prime is equal to derivative of the first, which is f prime of x, multiplied by the second, which is just g of x, raised to power negative one, okay? Then we say plus the derivative of the second here. So we're gonna have um, negative one multiplied by g of x raised to power negative two, you subtract one from this, multiplied by the derivative, okay? Um, the derivative of what's inside is just g prime of x. And remember that this is still there, your f. It's gonna be times f of x. Okay, so we have applied the product rule and along that we applied the chain rule here. Okay, so that's it. This is all we've got to do. As you can see, you can already see the quotient rule come out of this because if we write this back as fractions, we're gonna have f prime of x. This expression is the same thing as g of x. 
straight plus oh plus times minus one is gonna be minus f of x times g prime of x and then we're multiplying by this which is gonna be over g of x squared that's what we've got from this expression here let's put this here that's y prime so you just have to make this and this have the same denominator and doing that means you multiply this by g of x multiply this by g of x so what you have left is going to be f prime of x times g of x over g of x squared minus f of x times g prime of x over g of x squared and as you can see because the denominators are the same you just put the two top parts together so that our y prime is just f prime of x g of x minus f of x g prime of x all divided by g of x squared and that is the quotient rule not complicated as long as you use your product rule and the chain rule never stop learning because those who stop learning have stopped living